hello guys in this video we will be changing the secondary display buttons of dominar 400 so this might be useful for many of the dominar owners out there because these buttons usually wear off after some time so let's get started you can see that i have already removed the seat um, now it's time to remove the tank panels as a first step we need to remove some bolts so this this and this so these three bolts and same on the other side so totally six bolts you can see we have removed the tank so once you remove the tank this is what uh, the inside looks like uh, you will have this secondary display and a cable running through uh, this will be connected with this plug so you need to disconnect that so the next step you would need to do is to remove these two small star screws to take the secondary display separately and once you do that boom we have our secondary display separately now it's time to change these buttons so the next step you need to do is remove these two bolts and these four screws to remove this top cover so we are going to use this banner size of 8 to remove these two bolts The bracket is off. Now it's time to remove the four screws. Invincible. So once you remove those four screws, uh, you get this top cover separately and this actual display. Uh, uh, keep this safe, you don't want to damage this uh, actual display. So let's keep it aside. So next step, uh, so yeah, we have our old used uh, top cover. So take these foams, you don't get this foam uh, with your new top cover so you might need this uh, to use with the new top cover so we have three pieces of foam you will have these two small plastic pieces so these are the things which press the actual button in the display so this goes to the back of that actual button so you need to take these two pieces now let's quickly unbox the new uh, secondary display uh, button spare that we got so you can see the spare part number the price and details etc so this is the spare part number and this is the actual price so this is how the packaging is so inside we have a single cover 
So inside the cover we have four uh, the four screws and uh, small o-rings and we have this rubber o-ring and then new display that we are going to change so for this change i'm not going to use this uh, the new o-ring uh, the actual the old o-ring itself uh, was placed inside this uh, display console so i'm gonna leave it as it is and just place the top cover so we took this two pieces right these two uh, plastic pieces that actually press the button so what you what you need to do is place this uh, two pieces inside this hole so that uh, one is already placed so you place these two pieces inside these two holes so once you do that um, just take the new cover uh, align accordingly and once it's perfectly aligned so you directly just screw uh, using the new screws provided so for now i have placed two screws uh, before uh, placing the other two screws i'm gonna connect this to the bike and make sure these buttons are working i'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect this plug Yeah. Moment of truth. Let's see if it works first. Yeah, it's kind of just starting. Okay. Yes. So the mode is working. So we have auto trip. yes so this is also working fine so we have auto right so let me show you in the main screen so when i click let, okay now i think you can see when i click the the second button you can see that the main display options are changing and mode also changing now two buttons are working fine everything is good all set to go we can fix the tank uh, fix this in the tank i have fixed these four uh, screws and the clamp and those uh, rubber paddings uh, so i fixed these paddings using uh, this thin double sided tape so it's ready to be fixed in the tank yep so i have fixed the display let's fix this uh panel to the bike before fixing the tank panel make sure all these foam paddings are in place my my bike miss this one padding i might need to buy this and replace the next time when i remove the uh, panel so these two uh, foams come at uh, both the sides so i will fix these with the double side tape and then go ahead and put that tank panel back to the bike so i have fixed both the foam paddings
So yes, everything has been done. All the bolts has been fixed tightly. Now let's see if everything works fine. Turning on the bike. We hit the display. I can switch between the modes. And when I press this button, I can switch between the other settings. Perfect. So this is all about this video guys. So in next video, uh, I'm going to do a basic service for this bike, which includes fuel filter change, air filter change, etc, etc. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if this video is useful to you. And do not forget to share it with your biker friends. So yes, we have come to an end. See you guys in the next video.